So, good evening everyone. And thank you for coming to the Expressive Pebble Dance Meditation. And I, I really appreciate your coming here because the description didn't say much actually what we're going to be doing. And it might be embarrassing or yeah, some I heard saying I want to get out of my comfort zone and I guess you will tonight. But uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So I want to just shortly explain what this is and what we're going to do first, because this is a dancing meditation, but we're all lying down. So, yeah, what? So expressive pebble dance meditation, a fusion uh, of, of expressive dancing or intuitive movement, call it whatever you like, and uh, Plum Village Pebble Meditation, which consists of four meditation objects. The flower represents freshness. Water, uh, the, the mountain comes next. Solidity, stability. The water, reflection, clarity, and space for freedom. So these qualities, we say everybody has in us, in our golden nature, we said we are one, we are connected. And uh, in Buddhist terms, we call them seeds, wholesome seeds. And we can awaken them by watering those seeds, and then they sprout. And everybody needs freshness in their lives, everybody needs solidity, the ground where we can stand on, everybody needs clarity. And actually, meditation is a tool to get a clear mind. And we need to be free and feel free. So we will be learning in this, or relearning or experiencing in this dancing meditation how to water these seeds and how to let them sprout and how to internalize them in our bodies, how to embody them and how to express them. So later at any given time, we remember this session, we remember movements we did, what we felt, what, what was going on, images, feelings. We can, huh, um, we can re-enter to that state and we can easily access these qualities or these seeds and bring them to life. So we're going to listen to a soundtrack twice. So first we were listening to it lying down. And I'm asking you to really relax, to feel the ground beneath you, below you, and relax every muscle you don't need to follow your breathing as we have learned and, and do it all day long. This is still a meditation. And we want to all the time be connected with ourselves our breath, in our body, establishing ourselves in the here and now, in this very moment, and being aware of everything what is happening within and without. We'll be going through music that represents these elements with a guiding text, and just listen to that words and let the music into your being, and listen with your whole being not only with your ears, but let it completely in. And then you might be in that scenery I'm talking about. And you find yourself in that scenery, seeing images, feeling um, warmth, having body sensations of warm, of shivering, of relaxedness, of tense, whatever. And everything what comes up, just let it be and see what is happening. Witness it. Like in the meditation, we want to hold, embrace, and accept everything what is coming up. Sometimes it happens that, that some emotions that we suppressed for a long time, they're finding a space and an opportunity to, to show up and say, hey, I'm here, let them be. And this is all for the first 18 minutes what we're going to do. We're going to to listen 
to the music and water those seeds which we will then afterwards put into a movement and let them sprout. Okay. I think this is good enough for now. And we can fade out these beautiful birds and come into the into the soundtrack. You wanna turn it on? You can have your eyes open close. I will be going around, so if you need something, please just raise your hand and I will be with you. in the middle of a beautiful meadow full of flowers and become one of these flowers yourself. Offering my freshness and my beauty to bees, birds, and all beings. Thank you. 
see myself as a flower. Breathing out, I am the source of freshness. Breathing in, I see myself as a mountain. Breathing out, I am solid. As a mountain, I am the foundation of many beings, trees, rivers, lakes, carrying them with great stability on my majestic shoulders into the sky. Breathing in, I see myself as a mountain. Breathing out, I am the source of solidity. myself as water. Breathing out, I reflect all that is. As water, I am deep and still, reflecting the sun and the moon, clouds passing, trees swaying, and deers drinking. I am reflecting all joy and all pain.
I see myself as water. Breathing out, I see reality as it is. myself as space. Breathing out, I am free. Space, I am limitless. I am everywhere. Space inside, space outside, space everywhere. myself as space. Breathing out, I am the source of freedom. Now lay down and relax. Let go of all notions, be it flowers, mountains, water, or space. Breathing in, I am free of all notions. Breathing out, I am pure awareness.
So what we did basically now, we got in touch with these seeds of freshness and of stability and reflection and freedom and we acknowledge their presence in us simply by listening and generating any kind of image, feeling, sound, smell, any sense and rewarded those seeds by acknowledging them. What we're going to do now is we want to bring them to life and make them sprout so we can give them a stage and a right and a place to live and become these seeds and become these qualities and express it. We have internalized it and we have embodied it to a certain degree and now we continue embodying it and expressing it. So, if you're ready, you can stretch a little bit, wiggle your toes and fingers and slowly get ready to stand up. Yeah, you might feel still sleepy. You can say something like, mm, if it helps. Oh, hmm. Getting up is worth it, believe me. Yeah, that's it. If you, if you feel ready, we'll get up. And for now, we will need a clear dance floor, so we will just push our cushions and mats to the sides. Don't try to sort them or so. We just bring them over to the side, and later we will take care of them. So we have a lot of space for us here. And then we come back into the middle of the hall. Forming a circle. And stay with that energy, don't try to think so much. What will happen now? Where shall I put my jacket? Just stay with your breathing and keep those qualities alive in you. And we have different possibilities. First I want to say we will listen to it again and we will put movement into it. Whatever comes, comes up for us. What do I see? What did I see? How did I feel as a flower? How would I like to express it? And we cannot do it wrong, you know? There is no right way of being a flower or a mountain. It's what is in us, we want to express that. And I think everybody will be so busy doing their own flower and mountain water, they won't have time to, to look how you will be doing it. So feel free, and you will see after a couple of minutes anyway, you will forget that uh, every, you will forget anyone. So just, uh, just don't think too much and get into it. Rumi once said, I want to sing like birds sing and not thinking who listens. That's the way we want to dance. Just dance and be, move. So there's no limit. There's no rule. We can use the whole hall. We can, if you don't harm anyone, everything is permitted. <laughs> Try not to bump into each other. If you think that you'll need more calm now and uh, you would like to, to repeat that, what we have just done, you can choose to lie down again or sit or stand. Um, maybe those of you who want to do this, you can go to the sides where the doors are and find a nice little spot for yourself. Uh, whenever you feel you want to move, you just join. Another way around, if you, wanna, if you think you want to like, move and dance, and later you think, oh, I, I think I've got to rest or lie down and, and let that sink in. Then you just do it. So feel free to do whatever uh, you think is right in that moment. And we're still in a meditation, so be with your body, be with your breath. 
and um, enjoy, enjoy the dance. At one point, you heard it now, it will say, now lay down before this Irish folk song begins, now lie down and relax. That's the point where we want to all lie down wherever we are and listen to that last tune. But I will also say it loud in case you are in trance or so. <laughs> Already. So you can spread out, use the whole, the whole space, come in the middle. The sound is the best in the middle. And uh, we'll make it a bit louder to get the, to get the feel. Very good and make good use of the space. Get into a comfortable position. Be aware of your body. Be aware of your breath. And breathe. Find yourself in the middle of a beautiful meadow, full of flowers, and become one of these flowers yourself. Breathing in, I see myself as a flower. Breathing out, I am fresh. As a flower, I'm offering my freshness and my beauty to bees, birds, and all beings.
myself as a flower. Breathing out, I am the source of freshness. Breathing in, I see myself as a mountain. Breathing out, I am solid. As a mountain, I am the foundation of many beings, trees, rivers, lakes, carrying them with great stability on my majestic shoulders into the sky. Breathing in, I see myself as a mountain. Breathing out, I am the source of solidity. myself as water. Breathing out, I reflect all that is. As water, I am deep and still, reflecting the sun and the moon, clouds passing, trees swaying, and deers drinking. I am reflecting all joy and all pain.
yourself as water, breathing out, I see reality as it is. Self as space. Breathing out, I am free. myself as space. Breathing out, I am the source of freedom. Now lay down and relax. Let go of all notions, be it flowers, mountains, water, or space. Breathing in, I am free of all notions. Breathing out, I am pure awareness.
Okay, we want to stay where we are and just continue breathing and again holding what is there. You might find your, find your heart still pounding. So listen to that and let it come and rest slowly. Just don't force anything. Feel your muscles, your legs. Maybe you're sweating like I'm doing. So just feel all the body sensations that are here now. Maybe together with some images, review them again. Some feelings we had, maybe some that pop out, saying, wow, felt very close to that very alive there and feel your body, feel the ground, relax. It's all good. We have all we need. We're happy. Stay with that for a minute. You can have your eyes open or closed. So you see, in the first round, we watered those seeds of freshness, of solidity, of clarity, freedom. And now we really put them, we put them to life, and we gave them the space to be. And not only we gave them the space to be, but we became these qualities, those seeds. And if you listen to the text, it always started like, I see myself as a flower. And then at the end, it said, I am the source of freshness. So from this watering of the seeds, we really became the freshness. We really became the solidity by putting our whole being into it and making our being this seed, this quality. And we can use that, we can use it in our daily lives. There are days we feel tired, worn out, and we need a bit of freshness. And our body stores like movement much better than ideas. So we, by dancing, by dancing freshness and the flower, we kind of created a positive trauma which we can come back to. And just by remembering an emotion we had, an image we had, or going into that movement that connects us with a flower, we can refresh again and remind ourselves that we are beautiful, just as we are. There will be days we feel shaky, insecure, and we need the quality of the mountain the stability, the solidity that is able to carry trees and rivers, whole forests on it to be the foundation of where we are standing on, to know that we can rely, that we belong, to feel the ground. There are days, moments, where we feel confused, indecisive, and where we need clarity reflection of what really is. When we have strong emotions coming up, to really reflect them, as the water does with the moon, the sun, floating clouds, it reflects things as they really are. And by that, we become knowing. We connect with the knowledge, with the knowing. And of course, there are days when we feel tight, tense, and the whole world around us becomes small. So how freeing it is to become space and get back, maybe move a 
little bit like space moves or express what space means to us. So I invite you to experiment with these four elements which are very, very much needed in our daily lives, all four of them in any given moment, and very powerful to give us freedom, freshness, clarity, stability. You can do it at home. If you are at work or in college, you can go and you feel tight, you can go to the happy room and do some dancing. Or you just lock yourself somewhere. Or you just do it in front of others. So if you feel ready, we can again like loosen up and stretch our legs, our arms, wiggle our toes, our fingers, bring them to life again. See if our body has calmed down a bit, the heart rate is down, pulse, every function's working. And you can find this soundtrack. I put it on YouTube. So if you want to listen to it, like at home or somewhere, I'll post it at the whiteboard in the dining hall. You find my channel. <laughs> so if you like it, you can like it and you can subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you know, there will be more. There is another, there are three versions in English and in French of this one. And there's another guided meditation, watering wholesome seeds with music. And there will be more coming. So I'm using it to to sing myself to sleep, I'm putting on headphones and just letting this go. And afterwards I'm pretty relaxed and I can let go of all the thinking I, I accumulated throughout the day and feel pretty, pretty empty and ready to let go of my body and fall into sleep. So, you're all relaxed. You want to say, ooh, or ah. <laughs> ooh. All right. So if you're ready, we can stand up. And uh, I'd wish uh, that we can form a circle, a bit smaller maybe than the last time, and sit down and, and hear some, some of us sharing the experience. I'm curious to hear what, what came alive for for you. You can sit, just sit down and come close, <laughs> close to each other. Don't make it too big. For me, it was also a process of um, becoming comfortable with each of these elements because I didn't allow myself. The most difficult for me was to be, to be a flower because I thought like, you know this like manly thinking, I want to be a tree, not a flower. <laughs> Something like a mountain, I could like identify with a mountain so beautiful. There was me, the big like mountain, and then the flower. And but opening myself to it and actually giving movement to it and becoming one like in a playful and, and dancing way really allowed me to to come closer and to yeah, to make friends with this flower in myself and see the qualities of a flower which I Possess, and it's not only that a flower is easily picked and is like weak. That's what what my perception was like. But it smells so good and it's so beautiful and it attracts so many beings. And everybody is fond of flowers. Children, men give it to their partners. Women like it. Animals like it. Everybody loves flowers, and they're pretty awesome. And then I said, I want to be like a flower. I want to be like that awesome. 
you know, and everybody likes you. That's a flower. You don't have to do anything, but everybody comes and makes, mmm, <laughs> maybe not tonight. And so this was my difficulty, the flower, and I'm embracing it more and more. I'm not there yet, but I'm really embracing it more and more and then exploring it. While for, for me personally, the, the space gives me the most, yeah, I think, freedom. And this was my, yeah, the topic of my life, I think. I want to always break free from every limitation I put on myself, society put on myself, like my parents put on me. I want to break free of it. So space for me, I could like run and swirl for hours and smile from ear to ear and, and uh, but it is the, but it is the, the whole thing, the diversity and of each, of each of those seeds and there are more to it. This is just for, for uh, meditation objects or for qualities we have, we have so many more. So I'm curious what you have experienced and I would, uh, yeah, I'd like to hear some, some of you will pass on the mic then. If you just say, uh, raise your arm and tell me if you want to share. It's kind of, kind of weird to talk into this. This was so funny. Like, it was just so good. And, like, coming... Uh, not knowing really anyone here and then just, like, also seeing like the monks and just people who you, I'm just used to seeing everyone so serious and <laughs> like <laughs> I was just like laughing hysterically because it was just so like fun and funny and it just like brought me so much joy so that was wonderful <laughs> thank you so much yeah. <laughs> want to go first? you can both share Share, do a sing along. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely have a similar um, feeling that uh, Molly had. Um, this is the second time today that I've just felt such incredible joy. Um, the first time was playing music, and um, second time was during this practice. Um, yeah, it was just so incredible, and I think it was very healing. Uh, the, expressing myself creatively like that is like so difficult as I discussed with you you know I wanted to get out of my comfort zone I'm sure I wasn't the only person in the room that you know kind of feels that way um, so I felt like the, the progression of like just being vulnerable and loose with a flat like a flower and then being solid like a mountain you know grounded me very well and then you know loosening up a bit as a flower and then with space I was just running all over the place and it was just <laughs> By the end of it, as you said, I was smiling from ear to ear, and the joy is still with me in my body. It's just really beautiful, so thank you. Flower is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mountain is by far the hardest for me. It feels very, um, it's almost like I want to do lack of movement for, like, but it's probably the most mindful I have felt all day. It was great. I actually didn't see anybody. I was too caught up in my own world. I actually have no idea what happened around me. <laughs> um, physical activity has always put me in like a very mindful state. I'm just so focused on my own body and, and coordinating with what I thought was a flower or a mountain. I almost wish you didn't tell us that uh, we were, I mean, we knew we were going to dance. But it's like the whole time when we were lying down listening to music, I was thinking of, dance moves that would personify, <laughs> yeah. But I almost wish we didn't know, and then suddenly, now you dance to it, and then see what the organic reactions are. But you guys are all beautiful, and it was a magical experience. I appreciate sharing, you guys all sharing your uh, vulnerable selves uh, with me, and not laughing, everyone laughing at me <laughs> while I'm uh, flowering. <laughs> Thank you for that feedback. <laughs> Maybe I will keep it more secretive the next time. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Well, for me, the whole process was so easy. I am. I like to make myself the ridiculous. So, <laughs> I like another day. Good. And well, the difficult one was the the mountain. Now, all the things like be quiet and 
solid. Um, how I will do that? Okay, I, I don't know. But um, I remember the Buddha, in fact, the, the, the position of meditation. Uh, I will do that. So it was really fun and in space, I enjoy a lot of space. And I, in a moment, spin around. <laughs> it was so fun. And I, I really uh, be glad to watch over you, making all your moves. I, I do watch you, okay? <laughs> not judge me, not judge me, but I do watch you. I, I enjoy a lot to watch you. So thank you very much for sharing. Thank you. So brother, I told Brother Ngocon that I was coming and he gave like this excited dancing thing as I'm not nearly as excited as you are. Um, <laughs> Yeah, if you say getting out of comfort zones is just wanting to push the boundaries a little bit and go in the place, yeah, do something challenging, yeah, yes, I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. Um, I found during the meditation that the lying down that part that uh, the water was the most challenging one for me. I didn't I had a harder time connecting with that flower. I could I could feel uh, each one like the rest sent kind of sensations through my body, but the water one was most challenging for me. Um, and when it came to time to actually dance, that was just the most challenging part. <laughs> um, took me some time. The flower I had, I, yeah, took some time and then started, I saw everyone else like moving their whole bodies and I wanted to be able to do that, but could not. Um, and at some point decided to just kind of be still and just do whatever felt natural. And then it became, uh, then I started closing my eyes. I noticed when I sing and really get into the song, my, I close my eyes without even thinking about it and I'm just kind of in my body. And when I was able to do that, uh, then yeah, it was more expressive. Um, and the space was the most fun part for me. I started running around the hall. Next time I won't do this with socks. <laughs> um, and I agree, yeah, I, as, uh, as the meditation was going, I was like, dan dance moves would come to my mind of some, of some kind, and I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna do that one. I didn't do any of them, but <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, thank you. Thank you so much, brother. I want to say thank you to all the brothers who came because it's so hard to get monastics coming to this uh, workshop. And next time we get you, like, without the long rope, you go into the short rope. <laughs> That's step by step. Thank you. Uh, I think my, my favorite one was, was water. Um, I kind of, that was the only time I opened my eyes. And the, well, my eyes were open a lot, but that was the only time I saw people because I, when, I, when the directions were, I'm reflecting. And then I just started seeing everybody and not making any decisions of my own and just see movements and then just doing that. And that was really fun. I felt like I was dancing with everybody. And um, the hardest was space because I was like, what? Space doesn't move. <laughs> doesn't go anywhere. Uh, you were a physicist. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I just think a lot. But uh <laughs> uh oh but then I then I was like, oh wait, how can I honor space? How can I like participate in space? And then then I started running around like you guys. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. That is awesome. Thank you. Um, I, I want to start by just expressing a little gratitude for this, like a lot of gratitude for this, because <clears throat> I think that at, at least I find myself taking myself a little too seriously sometimes, like, okay, I'm going to sit down and meditate, like, it's serious. Um, yeah, or just like, okay, I'm going to like really focus on this, and like when I really focus, I tend to get serious, and then uh, like we, we live in a, a world of dualities, right? So as I, I feel like if you're always serious, if you were to spend some time in that joy realm, you're able to like, experience more joy and also then, in turn, also experience more 
depth. So I feel as though this was like a great, just like snapping out of that serious mindset and just into joy. And I kind of want to linger there for a lot longer. And then when I'm ready, just dive back down. And I feel like I'll probably be able to go deeper if I wanted to. You will, you will follow my channel, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and I found also, like, after all this movement and lying down and hearing this Irish blessing song, you know, I hear my heart pounding and I feel like I'm still out of breath. And this is the moment where I really can let go and, like, oh, like touch my, my true self. And like, wow, this is like deep meditation, basically. I'm really able to let go of everything. You wanted to say something. Um, I just wanted to reiterate, thank you so much for this. Um, this is, I think, the most joyful I've felt all day. Maybe I'll retreat. Uh, and I didn't expect that because I also didn't understand what I was coming to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it was great. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'm very sweaty but very happy <laughs> to be here. And I don't know if anyone else felt this, but when it was done, I actually immediately wanted to do it again, um, which was also just unexpected. Um, also, it was the mountain song from the Inception soundtrack. Okay, that's great. <laughs> uh, yeah, I identified with mountain more than I expected. Um, and it's something I'm going to be thinking about for a while. But thank you again, and I'm 100% going to follow you on YouTube. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you see, every, everyone has something that is more difficult to connect and more easy to connect, but it's a working process and there's something in us because all those qualities, they are in us. So why is the mountain, and you explained that the mountain is so still or space is not moving, but there we can go deeper like in our meditation or in the next dancing session, we can go and explore ourselves. What is it? What holds me there? What, what is it? What, what keeps me distant from that? And like me and the flowers became more and more friends so we can get more and more in touch with all these wholesome seeds. It's a, it's a process. Did you want to say? No. Oh, you want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, uh, Brother Freedom, I definitely feel quite free um, and joyous. I, I feel the most impactful part for me was like right at the end when we all laid down and in, um, in our in-breath, we are free in our out-breath. We are pure awareness. And in that moment, I could just feel the interconnectivity within mm. all of us and um, that we are all connected and we all just shared this moment together and that brought a lot of serenity um, into my being, into my space. And I'm still like over here smiling and just joy to connect with everyone and to share that heart space. So thank you. Yeah, and I just wanted to share that I had a really fun time in the beginning visualizing everyone as flowers. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I had everyone in my mind like on a, on a grassland wearing onesies, <laughs> and that was just that made me laugh so hard. It was just so funny. What kind of flower are you? Wearing? <laughs> um, like the ones with yellow petals. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm not sure. Daisies. Daisies. Yeah. Daisies. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. You want to say something? All right. Maybe one more and then we conclude. Much appreciation for everyone that was here and for you, brother, for holding the space. Um, my favorite was water, especially when we were all dancing. I felt like we were all in a lake and everything was just fluidly moving and there was just this flow within everyone. And it was very peaceful. And uh, one quick announcement. My Dharma group is in charge of setting up for morning meditation tomorrow. If anybody would like to volunteer afterwards and help us out, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Wonderful. I was waiting for some of you guys making the announcement. <laughs> there must be something. There must be somebody here from the meditation hall team. Yeah, thank you for all your feedback. It is really uh, beautiful to hear how we all perceive it and which we can connect easier with, with more difficult, but it's all playful and we're getting somewhere inside of us to a place of acceptance, playful acceptance and, and joyful approach uh, to ourselves and accepting others also being there. And it was very beautiful to see everybody moving yes, so harmoniously. And I also saw 
like the mountain became slower and then the water, everybody was so happy, like, like jumping into the water and there was movement again, so there was so much energy. And for me personally, I cannot be more uh, happy than seeing people dancing to it. That's, that, that was my aspiration to do it. I, I attended in Plum Village a expressive uh, dance workshop and then I thought, oh man, I would like to do this like with our meditations and make it like, um, yeah, bring it home with, with not so much rhythm, but yeah, to really get in touch with these uh, seeds and qualities. And uh, I have so much joy doing it, so when I see that others enjoy it as much as I do, this is, this is the greatest reward for me and makes me really happy. People do it in their sanghas, they bring it home and, and dance in their sangha, I heard. It's very beautiful, so. It's on YouTube, you can do whatever you want with it. You can use it as whatever you want to do with it. So thanks a lot, and maybe we can offer flowers to each other, being such a joyful dancing crowd here. And uh, yeah, help the meditation hall team if you feel you still have energy. But of course, uh, if you feel you want to stay in that energy now and rather do anything, please do so. Please do. Now we are free. We, uh, we do what we have to do. And uh, everything will be done anyway. So have a good night. Please remember we're going into noble silence. If you're not a ventriloquist, you have to <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and you have your dummy with you, right? I saw someone filming in the corner. Uh-huh, okay. That person will reveal themselves so I can give you my contact info and I can get that video. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is everyone okay with being on the tape and what will be done with the tape? You have to... <laughs> Yeah, we have to ask if everyone feels comfortable to be on social media then. Okay, if you're not, no, you can. Mm -hmm. So if, you are, if somebody doesn't feel comfortable, please come to her and you can check the video, see if you're on it. Mm -hmm. All right, so let us stand up together. And you know what? We can do three sounds of the children's bell, what we do in the children's program in Plum Village. And that goes like this.